All right, so today's video, I want to do a little bit of a rant. Um, it's kind of the second video I've done this week, which is a little out of the norm, but not entirely because um, basically I just want to uh, now basically get off my chest something that's been kind of on my mind lately. And it boils down to artists and who uh, they are giving credit to. Um, I've seen a lot of guys like recording in a studio and then they post a song, but they never like they never credit like where they recorded their drum tracks at. Like drums recorded at Blah Studio or, you know, guitars done at Blah other studio. You don't know, credit every studio um, that they record at, which, you know, is kind of OK um, to a certain extent, um, but never try to pass it off as like this is my studio and I'm recording guitars and because I see a lot of that going on and then you look at the artist page and you're like that that's not your space that's someone else's space that's someone's time and money that they've put into that space for you to come and record great sounding drums that you have on your album um I see some of the higher stuff kind of happening where it, it's getting some places starting to get credit like yeah I did it at Air Studios or I did it at Capitol or EMI or whatever but uh, in the long run, it doesn't seem like, you know, everybody is is doing everybody's duty. Like, yeah, the engineer gets his credit. The producer gets his credit. Um, you know, rangers, art, you know, musicians, artists, they all get their credit. But when it comes to even if you're a small, small artist and you're just starting out and you go to a studio, you record your drums, you take it back to your bedroom studio where you're, you know, kind of mixing everything. And, you know, you post it, you're like, hey, I finished this song and I posted it, but um, don't forget to uh, credit where you recorded everything at. Like if you recorded drums and bass at someone's studio, credit their studio. You know, I see that a lot when I do stuff here. I have people that come in and they record their drums, their bass, you know, or they just record all their tracks here and then they take it back to their little home studio and um, basically... Not that I'm in a huge studio, but I got enough space to do drums, guitars, and bass and track everybody. But, you know, they take it back to their little home studio, their little laptop rig or whatever, and they mix it. And then they're like, hey, we recorded, we're done. Yeah, hey, check out our, our mix. And they totally forget us. Um, they totally forget that we, you know, help them get all their tracks, you know, kind of recorded at a somewhat decent quality. Try not to bump the mic here. Um, somewhat decent quality for them so they... Uh, you know, have a great track for their song. Not to, you know, gripe about people who have come through here, but, you know, I kind of want to just kind of stimulate a conversation here on, you know, why is this happening? Why aren't people, why isn't everybody getting credited? You know, why are people doing this to the smaller studios? You know, I'm a small home studio. I get that, you know, but, you know, I have my own social media and my own stuff where I want to get, you know, clients see and stuff that we've worked on. And if people aren't like, oh, we didn't record that, um, or we recorded at our own place and then you see the pictures and I, especially if I see it, I'm like, that is totally my room. <laughs> um, if I see that and it's not credited and you know, I will say something, you know, or, you know, you know, I'll contact them, you know, directly and just say, Hey, you know, could you, you know, credit us, you know, and, and everybody should do that. You know, if someone does that to you, you should contact the artist and say, Hey, I'm, you know, I'm not upset with you. I just, you know, I want to get where credit's due here. And it's kind of, one of those things that's just been on my mind. So if this uh, bugs you or whatever, great. Um, let's find a solution. But also um, hit like and subscribe, not only on our channel, but anybody who's putting out content, you know, if you like their content, hit it up. But make sure... Um, if it's content you've worked on with them, make sure you get credited. That's all it is. That's what it all boils down to. So, you know, thanks for liking, subscribing our channel, uh, and hitting the bell notifications if you want to, if you want more notifications on when we post stuff, but we are super grateful for those who have worked with us and those who have liked and subscribed our channel, who have done everything with us, you know, whether it's video, audio, whatever it might be, editing. Um, we are grateful for those, and like I said, grateful for those who like and subscribe. And if you find someone who might find this information, or you're trying to get um, the conversation rolling, just like I am here, you know, share it with your friends. Share this video, share our other videos, you know, they're all shareable, I believe. 
not sure about that. But hit the like and subscribe. Can't iterate that enough. Um, and can't iterate enough to the thanks and appreciation we have for those who do like and subscribe to our channel and to our other content, um, especially the other stuff we're working on. We might turn this into a podcast at some point as well. But anyways, um, hit the like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.